Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? It's good to see you guys. Welcome. Oh, just take a deep breath. I've just been basking in the presence of God, just, just sitting, waiting. What is burdening you this morning? What is it? <laughs> we are going to begin this morning with a, a peaceful, contemplative spirit. I'm so glad you're here. Who is God? Who is he? He's the way maker. He is the way maker. What is what is that burden you have today? What what's that what's that mini trial or major trial you're facing today? God is the way maker. Mm. Do you know he's the miracle worker? Mm-hmm. He's a miracle worker. Lord, we come before you, Father, just to bask in your presence this morning. We usher in the Spirit of God. We usher you in. Holy Spirit, come sit with us and move. Move, Holy Spirit, do your mighty works here in this room, this virtual room this morning. Do you believe he's the way maker? He's the miracle worker. He's the promise keeper, right? He promises, and he keeps his promise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He is light in the darkness. These words I'm speaking are, are from a worship song. The Waymaker. If you haven't heard that song, I would encourage you to uh, look it up today on YouTube or Google the lyrics. That worship song ushers in the presence of God like, like some other great holy worship songs and hymns from the past. Lord, you are the way maker. You are the miracle worker. You are a promise keeper. You are light in the darkness. That is who you are. That is who you are. You are a good, loving Father. We exalt you and we worship you this morning through our prayers, through our declaring your promises, promise keeper, and through reading the word, wash us with the water of your word this morning, Father. God, you are the way maker. You are the miracle worker. You are the promise keeper. You are the light in the darkness. That is who you are. That is who he is. And we're exalting him and lifting him up, the Lord of Lord, King of Kings. There is no name above his name, Jesus. 
His name is above sickness. His name is above death. Think on that, the name above all names, Lord, you are, you are, you are able, Lord. You are able to do exceedingly above and beyond what we can comprehend. So Lord, whatever, whatever trial the listeners are facing today, whatever burden is on their heart, let's just declare one more time. He is the way maker. He is the miracle worker. He is the promise keeper. He is light in the darkness. That is who he is. That is who he is. He's got this, whatever you're facing today. What is it? What is it? Something's going on today. I know some people have some things. It's Friday and it's a great day. This is a day the Lord has made. There's some stuff going on today. And he is the way maker. He is the miracle worker. He is the promise keeper. He is light in the darkness. Yea, God, that is who you are. Yea, God. Lord, place a blood of the Lamb, shield of protection around each one of us to guard our heart, soul, body, mind, and our spirit. Let nothing but your love penetrate that blood of the Lamb, shield of protection in the name of Jesus Christ. Place on us the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt buckle of truth, shod our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace of Jesus Christ. Place on our hand the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. <laughs> I love to say that. Sharper than any double-edged sword. Place in our other hand the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is thy kingdom, and the power, and the glory. Today and forevermore. Hmm. Good morning. So, what's going on this morning? <laughs> I'm sensing a lot of... A lot of uh, spiritual warfare this morning but God is good and and God is the way maker and he is the promise keeper he is light in the darkness and uh, that is who he is that is who he is amen hmm. let's um let's go declare Psalm 91 over us all <laughs> Back to this one. Psalm 91 in your sword. And we'll read a Proverbs today too. How's that? 26. That's where we're going to go after this. Good morning. It's good to see you guys this morning. My goodness, we're filling up quickly. <laughs> Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid by the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness nor of the destruction that lays at waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. 
you shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. My goodness, we're here from all around the world this morning. Once again, that's awesome. It's great to have you here this morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Lord, you are faithful. You are divine. You are worthy of our praises. Thank you for your promises, God, that we can declare your promises over your people, over ourselves, our families. Thank you for your presence here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. So it's so good to have you guys here this morning. Yesterday, I mentioned that um, I was, I, I, I expressed a need <laughs> to uh, begin, uh, I don't know, some better exercise program or something. I don't remember what I mentioned yesterday, <laughs> actually. Good morning, David. It's good to have you here this morning. Yeah, I was, I was talking yesterday about how I used to run three miles a day and so forth. You know, I had, um, I had been exposed to mold and uh, I got mold poisoning uh, shortly after I moved into my home in Morro Bay, California, and uh, I became very ill. And really for the, pretty much the three years I lived there, I, I was a really sick girl. And the reason why I know the only reason really why I know it was it was mold poisoning was because when I moved out of the house and I moved uh, to Paso Robles, I, I became very healthy and I had to take uh, very few supplements and so forth. And um, I still have residual from the mold poisoning. So I um, um, today I'm starting back. Uh, one of the listeners reached out to me and suggested that we uh, do do some stuff together. So I'm really excited about that, to start that regimen this morning. And um, yeah, God is good that way. He's so faithful to, <laughs> he's, not, he's like our rescuer, right? I don't need rescuing, but <laughs> perhaps I just needed a little encouragement to get up and exercise every day. Even though we have our running or biking yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to jog on the beach. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. I'm a little bit out of shape at the moment, <laughs> David. Good to see you here this morning. Yeah, I'm a little bit out of shape this morning these days, but, um, you know, that's good. God is good. You know, we just need, we just need to exercise, exercise, exercise. <laughs> My daughter, uh, Jessica Jewell, she has been a little exercise girl since she was so, I mean, since she could walk. <laughs> and uh, we have her on video going, exercise, Gail, exercise, Gail. It's really cute. There's a, somewhere in my, down there in the previous posts on my page, which probably can't be seen by you guys. But anyways, it's a cute, 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 cute. Our children are cute, aren't they? <laughs> Good morning to you. Welcome. If you you're here for the first time. Uh, I begin by praying for the listeners, for everyone, and then, then declaring God's promises. So I prayed a little this morning so far. We, we um, examined uh, who God is, the way maker, the miracle worker, the promise keeper, the light in the darkness. There's a song called The Way Maker, and it's a beautiful worship song. It brings me, brings me back um, to some older worship songs that have been around for years um, but it, it ushers in the presence of God like no other so if you will look up today the Waymaker, and um, yeah it's a good one <laughs> it's a, ushers in the presence of God so I was doing that I was ushering in his presence before I came to you this morning and I prayed 
declared God's uh, Psalm 91, uh, girded you up in the armor of God. And so we're all ready. We're all ready for the day, aren't we? <laughs> we're not going to spend a long time here this morning. Um, I want to go back to uh, 2 Timothy 2 is where we're reading today. And God is good. He's so faithful, isn't he? He's just so faithful to meet us right where we're at. Where are you at today? Is there some kind of burden, some kind of trial you're facing today? Well, here's some of God's word. Spiritual breakfast for you this morning. Be strong in grace. You, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. You, therefore, must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, oh, this is good. That was good. No one engaged in the warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. Let's say that one more time. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. <laughs> David, we are soldiers, are we not? Yeah. We are soldiers in this life, and God is raising up an army. He's raising up a new army of, of simple people like us. We're just God-fearing American citizens. We love the Lord. I am no Bible scholar, believe me. <laughs> I fall short just like everyone else, and I'm just sharing my faith and reading the Word. Yeah, David says, our flesh versus his will. Yeah, and I talked about yesterday about how he makes us whole in him and how we desire to be holy like he is, right? And also, if anyone competes in athletics, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. The hardworking farmer must be first to partake of the crops. Consider what I say, and may the Lord give you understanding in all things. Yes, Lord, give us understanding in, in what we're reading today. Give us wisdom, give us knowledge from above. Mm. Yeah, that's good, David. Our preference versus his purpose. Mm. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead, according to my gospel, for which I suffer trouble as an evil evildoer, even to the point of chains. But the word of God is not chained. I love that. Therefore, I endure all things for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. This is a faithful saying, for if we died in him, we shall also live in him. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we are faithful, or faithless rather, he remains faithful. He cannot deny himself. Isn't that beautiful? God's word. Good morning, Mike. It's good to have you here this morning. Isn't that beautiful? He cannot deny himself. God cannot deny himself. He cannot deny himself. Hmm. Mm -mm. Remind them of these things, charging them before the Lord not to strive about words to no profit, to the ruin of the hearers. Be diligent to present yourself, approved to God, a worker who does not he need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but shun profane and idle babblings, for they will increase to more ungodliness. So true. And their message will spread like cancer. Ugh. That is so true also. <laughs> hmm. Hymne, how do you say this? Him, Hymenaeus and Philetus, Philetus, or something like that, 
<laughs> See, I'm no Bible scholar. It's half these uh, names I can't pronounce in the Bible, but I'm working on it. I'm a work in progress. <laughs> Are this of sort, who have strayed concerning the truth, saying that the resurrection is already past, and they overthrow the faith of some. Never, nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands having this seal. The Lord knows those who are his, and let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Help us, O oh God, help us, help us depart from our sin today. Help us, help us, Lord. There's things that we need to lay down. We, we desire, we desire that. <laughs> we desire to lay those things down. We keep holding on to it. We keep holding on as though those things are keeping us. No. No. We just need to let those things go. What is it that you need to lay down today? Let's hit it hard, guys. <laughs> what is it you're struggling with? Is he calling you? It's no coincidence you're here this morning to hear this message whenever, however God wants to speak to you through his word this morning. It's no coincidence. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel for honor sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Flee also youthful lusts, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace, <laughs> with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But avoid foolish and ignorant disputes, knowing that they generate strife. There is so much of that going on um, on the platforms, right? here on Facebook and um, and Twitter and all, all the other platforms. And I like that I like that he's, he's just calling us away from that. <laughs> but avoid foolish and ignorant disputes, knowing that they generate strife. And a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all able to teach, patient, in humility, correcting those who are in opposition. There we go, the fruits of the Spirit again. We talked about in Galatians 5.22. Right. If God perhaps will grant them repentance so that they may know the truth and that they may come to their senses and escape the snare of the devil, having been taken captive by him to do his will. I don't know about you guys, but I want to be captive. <laughs> Not by Satan, <laughs> by God. I want to be captive by God, Jesus, and I want to surrender to him. I want to surrender everything, everything that keeps me from a relationship with him. That's good, David. Is patience, is that... Is that what you need more of today? Patience. <laughs> a little self-control. A little more self-control goes a long way, guys. What happened yesterday? Did you, did you spill it? <laughs> did you blow your temper with someone? Did you lose your cool? You can pray and ask God for more patience and more self-control. What does his word say? Be angry, but do not sin. It's easier said than done. I know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We give thanks to you today. We come to you with our, our burdens and we just lay them down. 
We're laying them down for the joy of the Lord. If you get any message today, it's that God is a loving Father. He is a loving Father. He loves, 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 loves you. He loves you so much that He is He's calling you out. He's calling out your sin. He's calling out <laughs> He's calling you out. And that's okay. I encourage you to worship God today more. After we leave here today, what's David reading? David is reading, you read Hebrews 9 through 16. Well, let's look at that. Let's go to Hebrews just for fun. Let's see, what, what is God doing back here in Hebrews? <laughs> I love uh, the Hall of Faith. Amen. Here's uh, 9, 16. Oh, I turned right to it. How funny. 9 through 16. Wait. Did you read chapter 9 through chapter 16? Anyways. I'm going to see if... David, can you clarify that? You read Hebrews 9 colon 16? Is that what you read? Let's see what, what we have here. Nope, there is... Anyways, let's read, let's read Hebrews 9. That sounds good. 9, uh, 16 to 17. Oh, okay. Let's see here. <laughs> For where there is a testament, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. For a testament is in force after men are dead, since it has no power at all while the testator lives. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Lord, give us some give us some wisdom here. In that, in Hebrews 9, 16 to 17. For a testament is in force after men are dead, since it has no power at all while the testator lives. When we're, when we are in Christ, we, we die to ourselves. I know that. We die to ourselves and use the word covenant. Hmm. Therefore, not even the first covenant was dedica dedicated without blood. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law, he took the blood of calves and goats and with water, scarlet wool, and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book itself and all the people, saying, this is the blood of the covenant which God has commanded you. Then likewise, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry. And according to the law, almost all things are purified with the blood. And without, blood, and without shedding of blood, there is no remission. Mmm. Mmm. Good word. That is, that is really good. That is really good. That's why uh, I play pray... Uh, the blood of the lamb shield of protection around myself and my family every day and that's why I do that with the listeners the blood of the lamb Jesus died on the cross for all of your sins two reasons why he died on the cross for the atonement of all your sins and to overcome evil and amen God has done that God is victorious and we're going to speak about God's goodness and his faithfulness and we're going to speak that God is the way maker he is the way maker. He is the miracle worker. He works miracles. He is the promise keeper. He is light in the darkness. Yea, that is who he is. He is. He is the way maker. God is the miracle worker. God is the promise keeper. He is light in the darkness. That is who he is. That is who he is. Where's that book? Oh, there's a fantastic book. It's called Contemplating the Cross by Trisha Rhodes. And it is a it is a reminder. <laughs> I don't want to get all all stern here. It is a reminder of uh it's a reminder. It is a reminder of 
of Jesus' death on the cross. And that book, uh, Contemplating the Cross, will have you doing just that. It, it has you contemplating Jesus' death on the cross. And it, it has you read, read scripture, sit and contemplate about his death and, and pray, meditate on his word. It is a powerful way to contemplate the cross. And that's the name of the book, Contemplating the Cross by Trisha Rhodes. I highly recommend it. I attended a, um, I attended a women's retreat many years ago. I want to say 1992 or 1993. Trisha Rhodes was there. Uh, she was the speaker. And um, it was at the Cambria Pines Lodge in Cambria, California. What a beautiful place where Moonstone Beach is, is a famous beach. And we were out in the woods and contemplated Jesus' death on the cross with Trisha. And so I'll never forget that book and I'll never forget uh, the message that she brought forward that day. And the worship, the worship was amazing. The prayer and the declaring God's word and singing praises to him. Yeah, I recommend uh, if you have the opportunity to attend a women's retreat or a guy's retreat, promise keepers, right? I know a lot of you guys are promise keepers and some of you are not. You have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> promise keepers is a, a solid, um, solid guys group that I don't know as much about since I'm not a guy, but it's a great, a great thing. Look into that. Um, yeah. Do you have a home church? Uh, would you like to connect with a home church? I can always help with that, but you can always Google your, uh, in your area or you can uh, look up on Facebook, do a search for a, a church in your area. Paul, good to have you here this morning. God, Jesus, that's awesome music. Paul, you put out some really good music. I really enjoy your music. Um, Northern California, right? It's good to have you here this morning, Paul. We're just talking about uh, Shirley Chan. Shirley, oh my gosh. You love the Lord so much. That's It's awesome to have you here this morning, Shirley. Welcome. I'm just kind of, um, I'm talking about uh, helping others connect in a church in their area. Uh, has it been a while since you've been in church or have you never been in church? You can search out uh, churches in your area uh, through friends. And through the search engine and Facebook is good. I know I've been searching for a church in India for my friend Sunil, who's here this morning listening from India. And um, it's really simple to do. You can, you can do it. Um, but mainly, I want to see you connect with God himself. And he is the way maker. He is the miracle worker. He is the promise keeper. He is the light in the darkness. That is who he is. Just saying that over and over again, it really ushers in the spirit of God. He is the way maker. He is the miracle worker. He is a promise keeper. He is light in the darkness. That is who he is. That is who he is. He wants to captivate your heart this morning. He wants to spend quality time with you. And the way to do that is by praying to him, having conversation with him. That's it. Just talk to him. Just say, Daddy, I need you. I need you today like no ever, be not ever before. These are turbulent times. These are troubled times. I don't know what it is you're facing today, but God wants you to know that he is the way maker. He is a miracle worker. He is a promise keeper. He keeps his word, Isaiah 55. His word will not return void. It will, it will accomplish what it set out to accomplish. Do you want to know him more? Pray. Do you want to know him more? Read him. He is the word, John 1. John 1. 
He is the Word of God. In this room, you will always, always, always hear the reoccurring theme is God is love. He is love. 1 John 4, 8. I keep repeating this over and over again, and I will every time. His word does not go stale. He is love. 1 John 4, 8. 1 John 4, 4 says, Greater is he who is in me than he who is in this world. God is great. He has overcome. He has died on the cross for all of your sins and to overcome evil. Done, guys. Done. It is finished. Just bask in his glory, in his greatness, and declare with me this morning. Okay? You're going to declare with me right now. What is God? Who is God? He is the way maker. Say way maker. God, you are the way maker. Tell him. This is what we're telling God this morning. <laughs> we're affirming God. He is a miracle worker. God, you are the miracle worker. It is through you. Miracles. In Jesus' name, you are the promise keeper. You promise to meet all of our needs. You promise us, and your word never returns void. You keep your promises. You are a good God. You are a loving God who calls us out of our sin. Guys, this, these are serious times. He wants you to turn away from your sin. He wants you to stop doing those things that are keeping you from a relationship with him. He created you for relationship with him. He desires relationship with you. What is holding you back from a full experience with the way maker? Hmm? What is holding you back from a full experience with the promise keeper? What is holding you back from the full experience with light in the darkness? Do you know the very essence of God is light? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's light and love and life. And he comes to give it more abundantly. John 10, 10 says, The thief does not come but to steal, kill, and destroy. I come that they may have life and that they may have life more abundantly, says the Lord God Almighty. He is the way maker. He is the miracle worker. He is the promise keeper and he is light in the darkness. That is who God is. So rise and shine and give God the glory. You'll never regret it. He longs to abide in you. He longs to make your body his favorite house. We're in a spiritual battle, guys. This is a battle between good and evil that we are in. God's the good guy. Satan's the bad guy. He's had victory. He's had victory. Who are you aligning yourself with today? I pick the good guy. And he is good. God is the way maker. He is the promise keeper. He is the miracle worker. And he is a light in the darkness. And that is who he is. We declare your goodness, God. We declare your greatness. We declare your name, Jesus, is above all names. And we thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit that has been left as a deposit for us to access supernaturals from God, the Father, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence here. We adore you. We worship you. We find joy in you in the midst of our trials, in the midst of whatever it is you're going through. Find God this morning through talking with him, just conversation. He is the way maker. He's a miracle worker. 
have seen miracles. My mother was he he uh, healed of cancer. Yeah, my friend Shannon, um, no cancer. It was her uh, intestines knotted up like a knot, seriously, probably since birth, since when she was born. Gina, good morning. It's good to have you here this morning. I've seen miracles. I've seen, I've seen God work miracles. There's evidence here of, of God as a miracle worker, as the way maker. He makes a way where there is no way. And he is light in the darkness. Amen. Amen. You can go back and listen to this message again if you'd like. You can listen in on yesterday's message. I gave an awesome, awesome testimony of God's goodness in my own life, how he uh, provided up and beyond in a way I never could have dreamed he could, he could provide for me. Never in a million years would I have ever, ever guessed how he provided for me this last week. And I'm thankful. What are you thankful for today? What one good thing went well yesterday? Dwell on that and uh, stay focused today, guys, on, on uh, all the goodness around you. Help out in your neighborhood, in your city, in your state. Be a help. Be a good helper today. And uh, again, there's a great message yesterday as well. And, and if you are just joining us now, we're closing for today. And um, it was good to have you here this morning. God is the way maker, he is the miracle worker, he is the promise keeper, and he is light in the darkness. And there's a song called Waymaker. I want you to go listen to that if you have time now. Take the time out to listen to the song Waymaker. God is a miracle worker, he is a way maker, he is a promise keeper, he is light in the darkness. He is light in the darkness. And you know what? He's raising up an army. He's raising up an army of just average people like me. I'm not a Bible scholar. I'm, I'm just a girl, <laughs> simple girl who loves Jesus, imperfect, I'm imperfect. That's okay. That's okay. We come as we are. You can come as you are to God. He loves you and so do I. Have a blessed day today. Um, next week we're going to talk about fasting and I'm going to give sam examples of, of um, how God's worked powerfully in my life through fasting. Yeah. Yeah. Shirley says, love that song. Yes, army is coming. That's right. Army is coming. That's right. That's right. And, and uh, you know, we just declare that San Luis Obispo County is... Um, on fire for Jesus, not COVID, right? Hot for Jesus, not for COVID. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Your name is above all names. Good things coming to San Luis Obispo County. There's no coincidence. We've been in the national news and, and uh, God's moving here. He's moving with you and where you are. And I pray you have a wonderful day today. I'm going to go hit the beach, guys, do some jogging with a friend. And um, God loves you and I love you. And I'll see you tomorrow morning, 444. <laughs> Bye.